Hi, this is Brett McDonald with National Weather Service in Riverton, bringing you a weather briefing for the upcoming weekend. Before we look at the forecast, let's take a look at what's been going on this past week and actually past month. This map is a map of percent of normal rainfall or precipitation over the last 30 days. So how are we comparing with what normally happens between late July and late August? Well, the northeast part of the state's been pretty wet with a lot of storms up there, and the southwest part of the state, western part, been pretty dry. And that has resulted into a lot of fires kicking off. Uh, this is a map from Thursday showing where most of the major fires are in the area, especially the ones in and around Yellowstone right now. Please keep up to date with the latest fires, especially if you're going to travel in the area. There might be some road closures. And we're trying to keep up on Facebook and Twitter with that information. Here's an aerial view of the Alum Fire right in the middle of Yellowstone National Park and you can see the smoke definitely billowing pouring off of uh, the fires in the middle of the day I believe it was over last weekend so let's get into the forecast check out the pattern here we've got high pressure over the central part of the US with a low pressure over the Pacific Northwest and that pattern is going to stay with us for another week or so what this is doing is helping bring moisture up from uh, the Baja area up through the desert southwest toward Wyoming so it's going to keep cloudiness and a chance of storms over Wyoming quite a bit if you're heading out west you'll see drier southwest flow over California and Nevada in, into the Great Basin area and this will result in temperatures being about five degrees above normal for this time of year Sunday as you can see about the same thing again uh, as that moisture just kind of comes up, not a strong forcing for the storms, but there's a chance of some showers and isolated thunderstorms throughout the area. Monday, or Sunday I should say, uh, notice that the computer models are giving a little bit of a tropical disturbance and bringing it up Baja. So we'll see how the moisture plays uh, in the beginning of the week over our area. And here comes the moisture, although it's get getting tilted off a little bit maybe more toward the southern and southeast part of the state while that dry southwest flow moves into the northwest part of the state which wouldn't be a great thing for the fires up in that area and then by Wednesday potentially we could see some of the moisture from that tropical storm over the area with the way the weather pattern is just gonna have to see not a lot of confidence in exactly where it's gonna go or how it might impact but Again, warmer than normal temperatures, cloudiness, slight chance of storms. So looking at the uh, time frame after that, our Climate Prediction Center is again showing above normal temperatures for a large chunk of the western U.S. And Wyoming has a near, near normal precipitation as expected, while the uh, Arizona-Utah area has above normal chance of precipitation based upon that moisture plume coming up from the desert southwest. And here's a shot at the uh, high temperatures that are expected from some cities across western and central Wyoming for the next few days. Pretty similar all of the days. Uh, some areas between 85 up to around 90 as you get over to Jackson and maybe Rock Springs a little bit lower but pretty consistent. Well for most of you it's back to school time. Don't forget to check in with the Weather Service as you're preparing your kids for school and keeping up on weather alerts and anything that needs to go on. Uh, always a good, good idea to know where you can look for the latest weather information. Take care. Have a great weekend.